I love getting things in the mail. Hey, Internet. My name is Steve. Welcome to Raffo. We've got another special unboxing edition of Raffo today. I just barely got the swag pack from the leather-bound Kickstarter for The Way of Kings. So I'm going to open it up. You've probably been seeing a bunch of people posting pictures and stuff about their swag packs that they've gotten. I ordered mine like five minutes too late and so got in the second wave. I'm so excited. All the things. <laughs> Thank you for supporting the Way of Kings 10th Anniversary Leather Band Edition Kickstarter campaign. You know what, Dragon Steel? You're welcome. So there's a bunch of different things that came with this. The Stormlight Archive playing cards. Those are going to be really fun to open. We'll do that in a bit. The Kickstarter exclusive backer pin, designed by Brandon himself, the original Double Eye of the Almighty. The Wit Coin. Yeah, the sculpting on that looks great. Chicken Scout Merit Badge for great shell handling. Also, we have the various coasters. Raffo Soda. You deserve a nice cold can of Read and Fight Out. Spoiler free. One Armed Herdazian Shout a Stand. <laughs> Horn Eater White. Unkalaki Moonshine. Not intended for air sick lowlanders. Grab an ice cold Chasm Fiend energy drink. Epic Bookmarks. An epic book requires an epic bookmark. And then Journey Before Destination, big ol' bumper sticker. Which actually, as bumper stickers go, that is wildly appropriate, right? Chromatic Chicken Scout stickers. Great Shell Wrangling, Shard Blade Safety. These are so great. <laughs> I love them. Oh, this is this is basically the, the ad pack. Ooh, so this is for the Mistborn House War board game. I just barely did an unboxing of this. Uh, it should be coming out real soon. I have like five different videos I need to edit right now. This is one of them. Call to Adventure Stormlight Archive. Did an unboxing of this. I'll put the link right there. Another card. The Thrill. Ooh, Peter, your art is amazing. Black Piper 2021 Roshar Tour. I went to the release party of the Kaladin album back when it first came out and got a big thing. If you haven't heard of the Kaladin album, go get it. It's amazing. I'll put a link in the description. More bookmarks and stuff. Cool. So Battle Eye Jewelry, who does all of the Sanderson jewelry, pendants, uh, necklaces. You can get metal vials. Also Forged Foam, who now makes legit LARPing shard blades and sill spears. It's so cool. If I had significantly more disposable income, I would get these. From Shire Post Mint, the Mistborn Coins. They're so pretty. They've got Era 1 and Era 2 here. And then here comes the main event. All the things. All the things. Ugh. All right, so here are all of the order patches, all of the order pins, all of the order challenge coins, the sticker pack for all of the orders, and then the art prints. Oh, cool. Okay, we're going to go one by one. Windrunners. These are solid. These are uh, probably four, four inches in diameter. These are big patches. Windrunner pin. Oh, those are lovely. It's a lot more minimalistic than some of the other pins that Brandon has released. For example, one of the Bondsmith, I think, pins for cosplaying at an event. And it's shiny and sparkly and glittery. These, I actually prefer. Uh, it's, it's a lot more simple. And it's just the glyph embossed in the metal. That's really nice. We've got the Windrunner stickers here. Basically the same as the patches and smaller. Kaladin, chibi version of Sill. And then a summarized, basically, part of the first ideal. And then, of course, the art of the Windrunners. All of the order prints like these were done by Steve Argyle. I actually know his brother. Really, really nice. So Kaladin, of course, and Lynn, maybe? Well, these aren't in order. Awkward. Lightweavers. Pin. The stickers. I will speak my truth. And then, oh, that's awesome. Shallan with Veil and Radiant. And then a chibi pattern. <laughs> there we go. The Lightweavers. Next we have, well, according to the patches. Hold on, we should be doing this in the right way. White Shin, dude. Do, why, Windrunner, uh, Skybreakers. Ugh, remind me what the Skybreaker symbol is. Gonna get judged. White Shin, Skybreakers. That's really cool. Zeth with a potential after image of Zeth with night blood. Nail dual wielding. That's awesome. Skybreaker patch here. Pin here. And the Skybreaker art. Interesting that they chose not to include Zeth. We just have other random Skybreak. Wait a second, is that Nail? That might be Nail, which would be dope. 
The White Shin Dude. Dustbringers. Here's the sticker. Patch for the Dustbringers. Pin. Really cool looking symbol. And then Dustbringer art is gonna be right there. Ooh. Looks evil. That's really cool looking though. Look, oh, that sword is awesome. White Shin Dude executes edge dancers. Lift with a shard fork and then a chibi windle. That's fun. The patch, the pin, the art. Well done, Steve. Well done. Uh, White Shin Dude executes three Truth Watchers with Renarin and Gliss. Ooh, we get two chibi versions of Adolin. One handsome no helmet and one rugged hem helmet helmet helmet. Oh, that's great. It's got the box. Basically, Renarin's fidget. Truth Watchers are green. The pin, green and black, with Truth Watchers being green, they are this one. The Truth Watchers. White Shin Dude executes three lashings. Oh, I already did it. Light Weavers. This one. Expertly. Else Collars. Super cool version of Yasna, similar to the cover of Oathbringer. Should be version of Wit. Right there. These pins. I'm so excited about these pins. And there we go. That armor, it, it looks almost Warhammer-esque, you know? Uh, watch you do three lashings expertly while Will Shapers. Venli with a chibi Eshenai. In taking the Night Radiance sorting hat quiz, I actually am a Will Shaper. Awesome patch and then awesome pin. This one, the metal has a slightly gold cast to it. And then here we go. There's the Will Shapers. That's definitely a listener in shard plate, so that's cool. Wild Soldiers. Stone Wards. Ah, Tom. Yeah, he's cool. And then chibi version of Shalash, which is Light Weaver, but it's fun. We need him. There we go. There's the Stone Ward patch. Stone Ward pin. Slightly different coloring. Ooh, that hammer. And then the last one, Bond Smith. If you haven't read the books yet, Spoilers. Dalinar, who is uniting them, and then also uh, Navani as the chibi version, which I think is wildly appropriate. And then we've got the patch for that, and then the pin, and then of course the Bondsmith art. Oh, freak! All of the, the challenge coins! Oh, man! Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, these, these are gorgeous! All of the sculpting. Again, Steve, well done! On Roshar, everyone has epicanthic folds, right? Everybody is supposed to look Asian. And in the original chapter arches in these, they don't necessarily all look Asian. But with these sculptings, it's very clear that everyone on these has epicanthic folds. That makes me really happy. These are great. Oh, we gotta open up these. Oh man, I'm already really excited. Okay, so there's uh, two Jokers, Wit and Vasher, <laughs> or Zahel, Adolin, Navani, so we've got the colons as the spades. Diamonds, that's a late. So this might be Shalon. I wonder if Shalon is the entire royal house. So we've got Eshenai, Shalon as Radiant and Veil vale on both sides. That's really fun. Yasna, Zeth is King of Clubs, Lift, Queen of Clubs. Jack of Clubs is Nightblood, just as Nightblood. The quality of these cards is great too. Kaladin. Slavey Kaladin, King of Hearts, Sil, Queen of Hearts, Rock with his stew is the Jack of Hearts. That's awesome. And then two extra cards, one of Vale and one of Jello, a chicken. Yeah, these are gorgeous. These are going to be really fun to play with. And again, the back of these is just really, 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 really nice. So there it is. There is the Way of Kings Leatherbound Kickstarter swag pack. I have not yet gotten my copy of the actual books. Well, as soon as I get those, I will do another unboxing video because I'm sure they're just going to be stunning. Some of these things probably won't be available on Brandon's store, but many of these things likely will be. So if you didn't get a chance to be involved with the Kickstarter, you may still have an opportunity to get a lot of this swag. Thank you so much, Brandon. These are gorgeous uh really really well done ben mcsweeney who did all of the art for the stickers and uh steve argyle who did all of the the order prints again i i will have more videos out soon i've got just several unboxing things that i need to edit i'm working on a channel trailer that's going to be brand new follow me on twitter facebook instagram i just got on tiktok i also have just started a patreon if you'd like to have access to my previous scripts which include a lot of my research notes as well as potentially the things that i'm working on right now please consider joining my patreon that way you can read and find out. Ow. My back.